Rise and Shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. Welcome back in everyone. Here is a look at Tyler with our Plaza Tower Skyview camera brought to you by the Tyler Neurosurgical Associates. We're off to a quiet start this morning. It is another mild and muggy start though. Temperatures in the 70s with dew points in the 60s. So it is a humid one out there this morning and that is going to be the case as we head throughout the day today. We're going to see partly cloudy skies on our Wednesday with a chance of an isolated shower or storm. High temperatures today climbing into the low to middle 80s out there. So there will be more cloud cover overall than yesterday throughout the day. Remember yesterday we started out with a lot of cloud cover, but then saw a lot of sunshine in the late afternoon. Well, for today we're going to stick with the cloud cover for the most part, but there will be some sunshine from time to time, and that's why we call it partly cloudy overall. Now the normal high is 76 degrees. We're going to be above that for the next several days, but big changes are on the way. There it is. Look at that big drop in the temperatures. It is a steep roller coaster ride for us Saturday into next week, going from 82 for the high on Saturday down to 56 for the high on Monday. That's the average high in January and we're going to be there for Monday and Tuesday. Of course, Tuesday is Halloween, so expect a chilly one. You know, typically with Halloween when you have the costumes on, it's usually a little bit warmer out there and it could be pretty warm with the costumes on and so you have to use those precautions. Uh, in this case, on Tuesday, you'll probably need more than a costume to make yourself feel warm as you go trick or treating in the afternoon. Taking a look at what Futurecast has going forward for today, we'll see isolated showers, maybe a thunderstorm through 4 o'clock. Futurecast keeps us mostly dry, and we will be mainly dry out there, but I think there will be a little bit more coverage in what Futurecast is showing. Bulk of the rain stays off to our north and west. We are going to see the rain chances start to increase heading into Thursday morning. Once again, I think Futurecast underdoing the precipitation here. I think we'll see better coverage of rain and storms during your morning commute on Thursday. Nothing severe, no flooding concerns, but still, uh, there may be some storms you have to work through as you make your way to work or school tomorrow morning, and then we'll see additional showers and thunderstorms developing as we head into your Thursday afternoon. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Now we are going to see those temperatures again make a significant drop out there as we head into next week. We are going to see the chance of rain continue into the weekend as well. Then we start to gradually dry out. During next week, those isolated showers on, on Halloween should be mostly during the morning hours and mostly confined to deep east Texas. Now for deep east Texas, we will see those rain chances increasing for the day on Thursday. Highs in the 80s through Sunday and then some of the coldest air we've seen in quite some time moves in for next week. Halloween's high temperature only 56 degrees. The high temperature on Tuesday is over 10 degrees colder than where we are right now and it's 6 o'clock in the morning.